evening all of you distinguished guest entrepreneurs ceos exporter importers and senior executives from uh, gujarat region it is my immense pleasure to welcome all of you for the today's event entrepreneurs and ceos round table exploring emerging business and investment opportunities for better business growth organized by Gujarat Industry Development Association and SME Chamber of India, Ahmedabad Business Forum. So, friends, we have specially today here Mr. Joe, who is the chairman India-US Business Council and MD and founder Concord Group Holding LLC USA to guide us and to talk on the what are the export opportunities available in India and USA. This will be a bilateral trade opportunities. We have Mr. Dhanesh Hassani, Zonal Sales Manager, Tata AI Insurance. Ms. Komal Kanzariya, Vice President, Multi Commodity Exchange of India Limited. Mr. Kaushik Chandra, who is a founder and CEO at Connect Redefining Business. We have Mr. KT Padelji over here, who is heading Vice President of GIDA, Gujarat Industry Development Association and uh, Federation of Indi FISAB, Federation of uh, Indian Industry Associations. Now I will invite Mr. Kaushik Chandra, founder and CEO, at Connect Redefining Businesses. His topic is Fundamental Disconnect. What are they? So, sir, I think say dinner or... Yeah, I'm standing as a mediator like, between uh, the dinner and... <laughs> your presentation. Most difficult, yeah. So, no, yes. nobody ask questions. Please don't ask any questions. Let me finish up. <laughs> okay. So, uh, thank you, ma'am. I mean, you have given a very good example and thank you for that show what you've given. Three things we have learned from you. More wealth from Joseph. <laughs> Save your health from, uh, yeah, from Dinesh. And again, save your wealth from ma'am. Now we here actually want to do how to systemize the entire process to do these three things. Correct? These three things has to be done, we know that. But if we don't systemize ourselves or our business, we can't do this. And that is where the fundamental disconnect happens. We think, we wish, it's like becoming an Amazon cart, we put it there, but we don't buy. Right? We keep on putting there, but we don't buy. When we buy, sometimes it becomes very late also. So these things happen. So I will make it very short now, going to the next one. This gentleman is Mr. Brad Sugars, who says a very beautiful uh, line, the only risk you can take is the risk to do nothing. The only risk you can take is the risk that you do nothing. If we do nothing, we have got nothing to gain and nothing to lose also. If we take a risk, there is a 50% chance at least. So that's what he says. Now, Brad Sugar is the person who founded Action Coach from where we stand from. My guru is sitting there, Mr. Molaj. There, can you just put up your hand? So, we belong to the same community and uh, we follow what Action Coach says and we build up the businesses across the country, worldwide, the way the Action Coach thinks about it. Okay, now this person comes from Las Vegas. We are stationed out there with 96, in, we are present in 96 countries all across with around 4,500 coaches working for different organizations, different entrepreneurs across the world. So he's the person and uh, so this is what, you know, this uh, 4,500 coaches globally helping 30,000 businesses all across. So that is a community where, where we belong to, okay? Coming to myself, standing before you with uh, a founder and a CAO, no, no, it's not CEO, it's a CAO, the Chief Abandoned Officer. 
So if CEO can come to the picture, CEO also can come to the picture, right? So I have been in 32 years working with different MNCs and then I decided that let me help the people who has made me here. Mr. Milind Diwanji is here. I think he has left. Uh, Mr. Milind Diwanji, I, I started my life actually, my daughter was born in this city in 2008. I came to Ahmedabad in 2005, I was working with Epson at that point of time, Milind Diwanji was one of my biggest partners in that time and maybe, you know, uh, he knows a lot of things about us. So I left Gujarat in 2013 to move to Bombay. So we believe in four things, why you do it, what you do it, when you do it, and then think how you do it. But probably we do the just opposite thing. But we learned that if we know why to do it, then we know what to do it. And of course, when we know what to do it, we know when to do it. And if all these three W's are okay, then how to do it comes automatically. Am I right? So if I am right, please show some, you know, encouragement to me. And if I am wrong also, tell me that, boss, you are wrong. Okay? So with this permission thing, I would take your permission to be your coach for the next 15 minutes at least. Give me that time. Okay, thank you so much. What we do actually, we help you to stand free during your business hours. We help you to come out of your micromanagement and see the business from the top. Okay? So, we help you to get more money because you can do multiple things while doing one business. We help you to regain more energy back because you are spending less energy doing everything together, avoiding micromanagement. Obviously, you get more time. And of course, you can't do anything alone, believe it. Agree to it, put it in your heart that you can't do anything alone, you have to have a team with you. Without the team, you are actually nothing. Okay, it's very, very crucial. It's, it can be, somebody can say that I run my own business, but nobody runs his business on his own. There are so many parameters which helps the business to run actually. Correct? So, in our process, we have seen that if you actually develop 10% of each and every steps defined by our organization, you actually make 46% more revenue with a 61% more profitability. We can show that. Okay? That is there available in black and white and we can show that. So these things will come later on because we have very short time. Let's get into some brutal introspections. We have been all doing businesses many more years. I've been doing business only for three years, but I've run my other people's businesses for a long time. There will be 13 questions come up. All of you can mark yourself out of 10. How much you actually rate yourself out of 10? You don't have to tell anybody. You don't have to tell me also. I'm not your teacher because your teacher is you only. Because when you come out of your home, you stand before your mirror to ask whether you are right or wrong and that is you only, right? When we come out of our house, we dress properly and we ask acknowledgement from somebody and that is me only, correct? So the confidence comes from me only and nobody else on the earth, correct? So let's ask the first question. What is the first question? How many of you believe that you have a great product and services which can do wonders? You can mark yourself on your own in a scale of 1 to 10. One, can be the, one, one is a minimum and 10 is a max. Okay? Does your, product, does your product solve a critical problem of your society? Come on, let's take one second to fill it up. We don't have so much of time. The third one is, are your customers willing to pay the prices which you want for your product and services? Don't stop scoring yourself because the score is for you only. You have to see your own mirror, nobody can show you your mirror. Are you as an entrepreneur able to deliver what you promised, what you or your team has promised. 
were you able to deliver what you or your team promised? Are you getting positive feedback for at least 80% of your transactions? Are 80% of your customers coming back to you to buy again? Or each and every time you go for a new customer? We all suffer from perceived indifferences. We lose customers, we don't know why we lost it. But we are very much arrogant to go back to them and ask that, why you have left me? Correct? So the question is, are 80% of your customers willing to come back to you and buy again? Or you keep on hunting? Are you and your team getting sufficient leads to run your business? I repeat the question, are you or your team are getting sufficient leads to run your business? And finally, are you able to touch base all the leads that you get? Do you have a system in your organizations where you can find out what are the status and what is the fate of the leads what you get? Because of course, I think the leads are not free of cost. It doesn't come FOC. It comes with a lot of money spent behind it. Now, have you checked in your system whether that money has been counted or not, measured or not, tested or not, or we just lose it in a cross. Correct? I hope everybody is able to answer yourself on your own. You don't have to tell us, you don't have to tell anybody for that. Let's go to the next page and find the next question out there. Are your team a good communicator like you? Remember one thing, nobody can be like you. Don't try to find somebody like you. That's the biggest defeat and that's the biggest problem which we'll have. And I want somebody like me and nobody can be like you. Right? But still, your team can be a good communicator like you. Not you. Okay? Going back to the next question, are your team consistently, consistently meeting their targets on month-on-month -on -month basis? Are you able to justify that, measure that, test that? Do you have a ready KPA system in your organization to measure it? The problem is, when I was working in organizations, I used to get salary on 31st of the month. No tension. I never knew what the person who is signing the check, what he was going through. Somebody was signing the check, actually. In this case, you signed the check. Correct? Now tell me honestly, when you are giving an appointment letter to somebody, do you get the KPI signed by him that why he's getting the salary? You don't. You are committed to give the salary, but is he committed to give you what for you are giving the salary? Is it an exchange of paper, the MOU? No, nothing. So the practice with the people whom I work with currently we have attached that KPA along with the terms and conditions of the recruitment. You give it, I give it. Three months gracious period, after that you need to give the eggs. It's time enough to do that. So, are your team consistently reaching the sales targets? Is your revenue growing month on month? I'm not talking about the top line revenue, I'm talking about the bottom line revenue because that is the only wisdom in business. So we at Action Coach, we are not motivational speakers. We don't motivate anybody. No point of motivating anybody because when you keep on motivating somebody who does not want to get motivated, will never get motivated. You waste your time. So we only try to motivate the balance sheet. If I earn more money, I will obviously get benefited. Nobody needs to get me motivated, correct? If the organization is doing very well, the health is very good, the wealth is increasing, the organization is in a good health, right? It is automatically motivated. So that's what it is. And there are so many people who are actually motivating us in the social media. So we don't take that situation to motivate again people. Are all the projects undertaken by you are fulfilled in time? The project means not only the physical projects, the project means the wishes which are at the back end of your mind. That is also a project. I asked one of my partner saying that, why are you doing business? So he told me, I want to do something for the society. I mean, it's all crap. You want to live better and that is why you are doing a business, come to the bottom line. 
So if I am not happy doing my business and earning my money back to home, I don't think I will do business for long. Correct? By this time, I think you have all answered, scale yourself. Now, if your score is 95 out of 130, which is precisely 76%, then you need to recheck yourself. If your score is 7, 95 out of 130, then you need to recheck yourself that why are you doing this business? And for whom you are doing this business? You're right? So, why are you doing this business? So why are we doing this business? With whom are we doing this business? I give you two type of people out in the society. The yellow point is basically the point of power, the center of power where we all look at. There are some sections of people who are into blame game, excuses and denial. That is the lying in the bed. Think about doing good, considering other people doing good. If you remember there is a story of somebody, anybody, nobody. Yeah? So these people are the same. Blame games, excuses, denials, whether on the other end, you have some people who are loving to take ownership, accountability and responsibility. The proportion of the OR and the bed is 20% and 80% because the rule of life is 20% by 80%. We all live in an 80-20 situation, so this time is also the same thing, 80-20 situation. The, the person lying in the bed is basically the battery which has got exhausted. Kindly remove them. Don't stay with them, don't live with them. Because it will create more drainage from your own battery. Try to find out these people who are in the green level these people will actually help you to grow. So it is not always that the direct production of the people who actually helps you to grow. The vibes which the people carry with them also helps you to grow. And I think that is one of the most important thing which helps you to grow. It's not the product but the vibes, the strong vibes, the positive vibes which actually helps you to grow. So we believe a successful business is a commercial, profitable enterprise which can run without you. I repeat the word. That's what Brad Sugar has thought about it. A successful business is an enterprise which enterprise, a profitable one, a commercially profitable one which can run without you. And if you see, all the large businesses are not run by the owners, it is run by the system because the owner creates the people, the owner creates the system and the people run the system. And whenever the owner comes to rule the system, it is sabotaged. In our childhood, we used to say, boss ko mat bula, boss bunale se bonsai ho jata hai. And we used to always talk that. Boss ko mat bula, boss bulane se bonsai hota hai. Hota hi tha. क्योंकि उनके हाथ में सब कुछ था उनके हाथ में प्राइस था उनका मन खुशी है आज हिज वाइफ मड आई ट्रीटेड हिम वेरी वेल सो ही गेव आउट अ मोर डिस्काउंट इन द मार्केट एंड यू लुक एट ब्लैंकली एट पीपल एंड बॉस आई वाज बीइंग डूइंग दिस आई वाज अर्निंग मोर देन व्हाट ही वाज गिवन इन द कंपनी नाउ दिस गाय केम एंड गिवन सम मोर डिस्काउंट दैट्स इट क्लोज द ऑर्डर व्हाट इज द गेम इन इट इफ यू हैव ऑल द स्ट्रिंग्स इन योर हैंड देन यू आर नॉट सपोज्ड टू लीड द बिजनेस we have to leave the business, not lead the business. Then only your business will grow. So how do you do it? Everything is said, but how do you do it? Now this portion I will just cover up one by one. We have identified 24 ways to scale up your desired business from the state of business to business. There are 24 ways where we work upon to scale up your desired business from business to business. Vision statement. Do you have that? 
written completely in all the walls. The mission statement for why you are in this business, the culture of your organization, it is being cleanly slated with the people who have joined your organization, the smart goals. As an AK, you know, we came after all this period of corona and everything, so we need to recover, which all the aviation industry as well as the hospitality industry is also doing. You know, they are recovering all what they've lost in the last two years. Correct? Smart goal isn't that. Smart is very different. Being smart is being specific, being measurable, being achievable, realistic, and within a time frame. That's what a smartness is. What I'm thinking, what I'm wishing, is it really achievable or not? I'm not saying that, you know, you have to give something which is very much easily available, but you have to give something which is a little bit stressable also. But that does not mean that I keep on wishing something which is not there there. Today, if I want to become an Ambani, I think I'm not very smart. Correct? So let's not dream in that way, but unfortunately today, majority of the entrepreneurs are thinking in that way. Let's recover. We cannot recover. We have to sustain that. We have to build up that. If the Q1 results are not good, you cannot have the Q1, everything built up in Q2. No, not possible. If the Q1 results are not up, then you have to divide the, the balance of the Q1, which is left, divide it in the next three months or six months time and ensure that the Q2 goes into proper length. Correct? So, vision, mission, culture, smart goals, organizational chart, who to whom and when. There's no point of barging in any discussions and telling that, you know, this is what I'm doing. Abhi ye kar lo, abhi ho kar lo. Abhi jao usko saman de kea. Abhi ho check utha ke le ke ao. So there has to be an organizational chart which helps the system to move in a proper roller without being a roller coaster. Positionally contract. Many a times we recruit people by telling our friends, our relatives, I have a lot of people who say, I will work a little bit. But this guy also doesn't know what he is supposed to do. Because he is actually slated as a 50,000 people. What he will say, he will do it. That means, he should have agility. Correct? Adaptability should have to listen to him. But if the contract is not ready for that guy, for what he is inside the organizations, then how can you judge that guy? How can you create the KPA for that guy? And what basis is working there? When you recruit somebody from another organization, even if he was doing well there, doesn't mean that he will do well here. Is there any guarantee for that, sir? A person who was not successful in any other organizations may be highly successful at your organizations. I think many of you have tested that, correct? I was very unsuccessful in working with J.L. Morrison in the initial days, but I was pretty good successful in Panasonic in my time. There was one leader in that organization who told me that this will become a child in and that helped me to come here and stand here to talk before you. So he has pushed me that. Do we do that in our organizations or not? Sunnya acha lagta karna me difficult hota Okay. KPIs. How many of you have got KPIs in your organizations for all your team members? Right? Even the peon, the ticket collector, the, the, sorry, the, 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 the HR guy, the sales guy. Even you as an owner, you need to deliver also. Because you are not the system, you are a part of the system. Now first believe that. That you are not the system. You, though you have created the system, but you don't own the system, you are actually a part of the system. The moment you start believing this, your organization start believing in this, your people start believing in this, and then you start growing. How to actually love the systems? If you don't love the system, we don't do it. The management system, the entire system understanding. I would like to ask you one more question. How many of you have got SOPs in your organization? Is it really helpful? 
do your new people give an exam on that? Do you give them one month time to make people understand what is an SOP, what is written there and then they pass an exam on that? So, giving an SOP and telling them that you must go through it doesn't give any answer. So you have to make them read it, explain it, and you have to make them pass that exam. Maybe you can put 60, but they have to pass that exam that they know the SOP of the organization or the department where they belong to. Correct? That makes this positional contract more tight and more secured. The most interesting part is coming now. We talk about the mastery of the business. So we have spoken about the nine systems out there. We are speaking about the six, six systems out there. Mastering the different part of business. Now what is the mastery? The mastering the money. When you do the business, passion doesn't come into any use. Passion remains for a few days. And then the pension starts ringing. Kya hua? Paisa aya kya? Interest dena padega bank mein. Correct? So the passion only helps to start. And the moment the pension gets hit, the passion starts flying away. It doesn't stay for long. So creating a mastery on your destination where actually you want to reach. I hope everybody of you have got your 10 year, 15 years plan. Which year you are going to achieve what? And then breaking down into 5 years, then into 3 years, and then coming back to the 90 days. So when we plan for 10 years, it's a big wish list. And then we come to five years, actually we are cutting down, which is not required. We cut it down to three years, we become more specific. To one year, we become more and more specific. And then finally we come to 90 days, because four into 90 days gives one year. So when you take a target in your life, don't take the target as a whole. Dissipate the target into small numbers, it, is, it becomes easily achievable. Bada sochna theek hai, lekin bade mein rehna theek nahi hai. Usko cut ke chota kar do, apna size mein leke aaye. It helps. Correct? When the team is said, you have to do 200 crores this year. They see 200 crores, which is unachievable. Then when you divide it by 12, they come into a certain figure, right? 200 crores nahi hai, itna hi karna hai. Then when you break the annual figures into four quarters, in some quarter it is 30%, some quarter it is 40%, again 30%, again 40%. So there is a rollover situation because all products does not go equally all throughout the quarter. Now again, again, when we divide that quarter into a month, which can be a 20, 40 and 80 different systems, it becomes more easier. And then again, when we divide it into a week, it becomes more and more easier and merrier to work, right? So, Breaking into small makes it more tangible to understand. Less is more. The more less you think, it becomes more. I will give you a small example of that later on in this. So after that, we talk about time. Now everybody wants to master time and believe me, nobody can master time. You have to be with the time. Today, it, if it is 9 o'clock now or 9.15 now, tomorrow at this particular time, it will be again 9.15. You cannot master it. Though the river thinks it is very unethical that you know, the, the river water always flows towards the sea, but the river cannot stop it. It has to flow towards the sea. There is no choice there. Similarly with time. So we have to build ourselves according to the time frame, according to our priority, which is more viable at one point of time. Then we talk about mastery and delivery. Are we delivering as per our promise? Because many a times, being in sales, we sometimes overcome it, which is very natural. I have also done that. Your sales team will also do that. Because being an entrepreneur, being a businessman, the first thing what you do is douse the fire which your team has created. Your team will always create problems and you will keep on firefighting on it. That is where the business starts from. So after that, we talk about the niche. 
why people will buy from you and what is that you're looking for what is your best people come to you for something either a price quality your behavior it is not always the price sometimes the behavior we are all living in flats today and we all have got two three departmental stores in and around but when your mom or your wife tell something to bring you always go down to one shop only we always go to one shop to have our hair cut right though there are five six shops so it is not always price it is the behavior the person who is dealing with you is more important because once you start believing that system you stop asking the price but whenever you go to a new place you look into the weighing machine you look into the person you look into his eyes you look into his dress you look everything correct so that is why the niche is very important leveraging all these areas into place to bring efficiency among all the parts is one more another part which we discuss upon this and of course the team together everyone achieves more does the word make sense together everyone achieves more that's the word called team you alone cannot do i alone cannot do it's a team correct putting the team into place creating the structures putting the leaders into place and then finally getting into the synergy because if you put somebody on top of the team the synergy will get disturbed so creating the synergy within the team within the supervisors within the people within the system is very important otherwise the machine will run but it will create a lot of noise okay and then finally when you do all these things the result is that you are free about it and when you are free your main job is to become an investor you have actually invested money into the business you are not the owner of the business because if you want to be the owner of the business then you have not grown sir you need to come out of the business and think it as your investment you have given it to somebody to do it you have to look into the dashboard so creating the dashboard is very important how many of you are working on lead generations day by day how many of you are actually generating the leads as per your requirement and what is the process you do it in long back in 1992 I had a training with Modi Zadox they taught me a very important thing called Spanko how many of you know the Spanko Spanko is suspect prospect authority need close order we all do it way back in 1992 Modi Zadox used to teach people like that suspect prospect authority need close order finding out a man in a system in your customer's place who is a man a man is a person who has got money who has got authority and who has got need if you talk to anybody else than that it is all wastage of time so follow the spanko ask your team to be find out the man okay ladies don't feel sorry i am only asking about man because money authority and need okay there are also women with that authority also but i didn't find any good word for that okay so that is what it is today the spanko has gone the man has gone it has become spin the entire subject has been changed it has become spin today find out from the google what is spin so help your people to work as per the spin policy because things have changed when you have generated lead what are the conversion rate when you have converted person how many transactions that particular conversion is doing it when they doing the transactions what is the average rupee value what is the profit margin so all these five things are very important to measure your activities your team's performance into that how they are going to step by step so hence sales is vanity profit is sanity but ultimately cash is reality 
द सी एस एस आपका पास एक लाख रुपया बैंक बैलेंस है कैश इन हैंड है कैश कहाँ है आवर कैश इज ऑलवेज विद द सी ए वी डोंट टेल द सी ए वॉट टू डू द सी ए टेल्स एज वॉट टू डू करेक्ट सो लेट्स गो द अपोजिट वे आई वॉन्ट टू नो माई कैश वेर इट इज इफ आई नो माई बिजनेस आई वॉन्ट टू नो माई कैश सो इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट वॉट इज दिस वॉट इज दिस अ स्मॉल सोफा एंड अ बिग सोफा Everybody has sofa in their home, right? When you go back home, you always try to sit on the sofa. Now I'm asking a very, very simple question: What makes the sofa comfortable? I can't say to this public that there's a drinks waiting. Please complete it, yeah, Miss Gujarat. So, what makes a sofa comfortable? Cushion. Anybody else? Anything else? Well, you sit on them. Pa, uta ke bed na hai. Correct. Anything else? Design exactly. Peace of mind. Huh? Comfort. Quality of the mat of the you know cushion. Yeah, on the sofa, correct. What do you know? Unfortunately, everything is right when what I say is right. Uska jo char paya, char paya me agar ek paya thora bas upar niche hoga, the sofa comfortable nahi rahega, correct? So it is not the cushion, it is not the handrest, it is not the gaddi, it is not your mood, it is nothing. It is only that four legs. If that four legs are not in the of the equal height, then you are not comfortable. Am I right? Come on, please say yes or no. Yes. So what that sofa stands for? Systems, operations, finance, and action. Your business. The sofa is nothing but systems, operations, finance, and actions taken. Any one of these four is not up to the mark. your business is not up to the mark you cannot be comfortable as such so i manufacture sofas i don't manufacture business i manufacture sofas because if i manufacture a right focus you will enjoy your life you will do your better business that's what we do these are something what we do in our systems i will cross out this these are the few customers which we i deal with i want to show you this that's why you crossed out that don't wish it was easier wish it it was better don't wish for less problems wish for more skills if you want you can take a pick of this or i can share it with you because this is very important don't wish it was easier wish you were better than that don't wish for less problems wish for more skills don't wish for less challenge wish for more wisdom and of course anybody from bangalore anybody heard about this rameshwaram cafe correct what makes rameshwaram cafe today rameshwaram cafe to the entire world is speaking about this cafe correct what makes it What is the unique part of the Rameshwaram Cafe? In two years' time, it has reached fifty crores with two shops. Seven thousand five hundred invoices cut every day. Four point five crore monthly sale. I have got an interview with this person. I was lucky enough to do that. The funniest thing is that he has got only six variants. in his business with six variants in his business he is able to touch 50 crore in two years 4.5 crore monthly 7500 invoices per day no pick up no swiggy no zomato and probably 
you know why he has done that so that people can come and experience the waiting for the good thing it's a very unique thing i was actually reading about it for long time there are so many write ups on this and so i was you know very keen to go to bangalore and see this and at 1:45 am still the shop is completely engaged people here don't come for the food people come here for nesha mere ko wahan ja ke khana hai simple the most oil covered food is there okay but still people will come there and have the food even if you go to bangalore please have it is opening three more these are my teammates mr sapnin thakre who is specialized in z certifications iso is everything who is working me with together mr arun bhattacharya who has 45 years worked in the corporate activity at one point time he was my boss he used to he is responsible for what i am here today and today he is 76 but he still works with all the corporates for me we are into disk analysis for different teams of dsb banks acer india private limited epson india and everybody all the high authorities so these are the two people who are with me and today thanks to sme chamber of india i am here for all the people who are sitting here to give a 6 hours free session a detailed free sessions of this what i have told in in a span of 5 minutes in this month only we will run a 6 hours free session for all of you sitting here the, the time will be declared in a two days time starting from 8th of uh, july something like it will take a saturdays on sundays lately where we will clearly define what actually this 24 steps works on based on that only you can decide whether coaching is actually required by you or not before going for a thing it is always better to taste it what it is so we will all help you to taste that what it is actually how it can change your life how it can change your business line up you don't need to pay money for that once you decide what to do that you are agreeing what to do then we can sit and discuss what should be the commercials is it okay with you everybody yeah it is better better to test it right so we will come back to you by tomorrow day after tomorrow asking individually whether you want to join that it is it's not a 199 webinar it's not a 99 webinar it is not cutting down to 49 webinar it is absolutely zero cost webinar we will do that okay these are the coordinates these are three numbers where we work upon one more thing which i want to talk about the entrepreneurs i recently come across that said by elon musk is that so true about all of you entrepreneurship is like eating glass and walking in hot coals at the same time is it true yes. you will feel it more because you have run this <laughs> marathon so long right we are still learning it you know we are we are still in the passion time so rightly said he put it rightly and uh, that's what i wanted to end my session out here so if you really want to ask any questions please <laughs> contact number huh अच्छा हमारा कॉन्टैक्ट इज नाइन सेवन सिक्स नाइन सिक्स या नाइन सेवन सिक्स नाइन सिक्स थ्री सिक्स वन नाइन फोर दैट इज द नंबर विच आई कैरी माय टीम कैरी इज नाइन सेवन सिक्स नाइन सिक्स थ्री सिक्स वन फाइव नाइन एंड द थर्ड नंबर इज नाइन सेवन सिक्स नाइन सिक्स थ्री सिक्स वन जीरो जीरो Three makes a happy family. Is it okay? Anything more you want to ask? Have you written down your scores? 
I hope you have written down the scores. If you want that same questions with you, because that questions you can come back to your team also. Just let me know. We will share the screen with you also. The number of questions, those 13 questions which are there. We don't mind sharing things. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a nice dinner.